Hello, this is Alex on Pongeo Techno Valley Weekly News. Here's the news from the second week of August. SK Bio goes to phase three clinical trials with AstraZeneca instead of Novavax. Green light on Korean COVID vaccine. SK Bioscience has confirmed that it will conduct the phase three clinical trials of its COVID-19 vaccine with AstraZeneca instead of Novavax in the US. AstraZeneca being the UK version that'll be used for the comparison. According to the industry, on August 4th, SK Bioscience is preparing a comparative clinical trial to verify the effectiveness of the COVID-19 vaccine candidate GBP510, the code name, as compared to the AstraZeneca vaccine. The COVID-19 vaccine developed by SK Bioscience is a synthetic antigen method and the US Novavax vaccine of the same method has been discussed as a comparative clinical target so far, but things got complicated when the US Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, delayed approval of the Novavax vaccine. As the approval of Novavax is delayed, the industry predicted that the clinical trials for SK Biosciences vaccine would also be delayed. However, the situation changed rapidly when SK Bioscience planned a comparative clinical trial with AstraZeneca. SK Bioscience submitted a phase three clinical trial plan, an IND, to the Ministry of Food and Drug Safety at the end of June, and it expects to receive approval as early as next week. If SK Bioscience receives IND approval for phase three clinical trials, and proves effective in comparative clinical trials with the AstraZeneca vaccine, this vaccine is highly likely to receive emergency use approval as the first COVID-19 vaccine made in Korea. For our next story, Nexon to create 10 super global IPs and hire 1,000 people later this year. Nexon announced that it would strengthen its position as a top game developer by developing seven new games and creating more than 10 large intellectual property rights or IPs that could be used in the global market in the future. For this, the company is also planning to hire more than 1,000 new employees after the second half of this year. Nexon held the Nexon New Project Media Showcase event on August 5th. The event was held online and CEO Lee jung Hun, who recently was re-elected, introduced future management goals, seven new development projects, the sub-brand Project Early Stage, the content marketing platform Project MOD, and the video of Cartwriter Drift. The CEO Lee said, we plan to develop and foster more than 10 new super IP types that will carry Nexon into the future and focus on continuous research and bold investment. For new innovation and growth of the company, we are going to hire more than 1,000 people from the latter half of this year. He added, we will greatly strengthen our activities to give back to society, focusing on children and coding so that we can repay the love we have received. Last year, Nexon found success with several new mobile games and live games surpassing 3 trillion won in annual earnings for the first time as a company in Korea. In addition, based on these achievements, the company gave a salary raise to all employees early this year. It announced a choice and focus strategy as it introduced its new compensation system. For our third story, Gungido introduces startup M&A legal support project to lend up to 30 million won per company. Starting this year, Gungido will provide professional legal advice and contract verification services for startups that are selling or are planning to pursue M&As to achieve a fair M&A. The province has conducted a total of 36 expert consultations with the Gyeonggi Fair M&A Support Center, which opened at the Pangyo Startup Campus in May, and promoted the 2021 Startup M&A Legal Support Project. It announced on August 2nd that it will recruit 10 companies 
The M&A Legal Support Project aims to support a fair M&A completion by providing consulting on the protection of startup values and prevention of technology theft, which is a concern in the process of an M&A by startups in the province. For this, experts from the Gyeonggi Fair M&A Support Center, such as lawyers and accountants, and a brokerage and advisory agency or law firm with plenty of M&A related experience are expected to act as consultants and provide more professional advice. Through the Process M&A Support Center, the province successfully handled 36 cases of M&A related expert consultations since opening on May 13th. This year is the first year of the project and it is currently supporting about 10 companies. Startups that are selected will be provided with up to 30 million won for legal support costs of verifying contract suitability for an M&A. The application period for participation ends on August 20th. And for our final story, Hyundai Motor and Kakao to join hands and launch multi-seater taxi Staria Lounge. Hyundai Motor Company, in partnership with Kakao Mobility, launched the multi-purpose vehicle MPV taxi model Staria Lounge Mobility on August 9th. The vehicle is scheduled to be unveiled for the first time for users in Korea through Kakao T Venti this month. Hyundai Motor Company conducted a strategic collaboration with Kakao Mobility from the initial development stage of Staria Lounge Mobility. Through Staria Lounge Mobility, Hyundai Motor will respond to the rapidly growing demand for multi-seater mobility services based on platform-based transportation businesses such as Kakao T Venti. Staria Lounge Mobility is based on the existing Staria Lounge 9-seater Smart Stream LPG 3.5 engine specification with electric sidestep, 17.3 inch roof monitor, smart power sliding door, smart power tailgate, and two row heated seat as standard, further improving the experience for passengers. The safety of the passengers with Staria Lounge Mobility is also a priority with the inclusion of front collision prevention, lane derailment prevention, rear and blind collision prevention, rear cross collision prevention, lane keeping, smart cruise control, safe exit assistance, three point seat belts for all seats, seat headrests on all seats, and seven airbags, including the airbag that detects rollovers. And now let's give you the quick news of the week here in Panga Techno Valley. Genome and Company advances in immunotherapy development and set to export technology to the world. According to Genome and Company, among the indications for GEN001, which is being developed as a microbiome immunotherapy, it is preparing for a domestic phase two clinical trial to first develop it as a treatment for gastric cancer, which is prevalent in many patients here in Korea. Next up, Smilegate launches Smile Club for vulnerable children. Smilegate Hope Studio announced on August 6 that it would launch Smile Club, a physical play support program for underprivileged children who lack physical activity. And finally, for our last bit of news of the week, OnLab require. And finally, for our last bit of news for the week, OnLab upgrades next generation firewall TrustGuard 3.0 advanced security. OnLab announced on August 5th that it has advanced the next generation firewall function, OnLab TrustGuard 3.0, by enhancing the security and convenience of its next generation firewall, OnLab TrustGuard. That's it for your Pangyo Techno Valley Weekly News. My name is Alex Sigrist, and I'll see you next time.